All right, now let's move on to some examples. Um, so in example one, um, we have uh, some sort of medical test, right? So this pharmaceutical uh, rep shows these drug testing results to suggest that this drug is very accurate. I guess you take a drug in order to take this test, I don't know. Uh, he says, this test detects this very rare disease 90% of the time. Um, is there any reason to think this drug isn't that great? Well, when he says it detects the, this disease 90% of the time, is he saying 9 out of the 10,000 people who took the test? Um, no. He's really talking about 9 out of the 10 people. So when he says 90%, he's really saying the probability of a positive test, given that they have the disease, positive test given disease is 90%, right? So this is what we call sensitivity. This test has good sensitivity. When you definitely have the disease, it's highly likely that you'll have a positive result. But is there any reason to think that this drug might not be that great? Well, we might want to calculate the positive predictive value, right? So this would be the uh, probability of disease given a positive result, right? And so in this case, we're looking at this world. The test is positive, right, given this world. And that would be 9 out of 59. So 9 out of 59. And that's 15%. So 15% of the time, um, when you get a positive result, you have the disease. That means 80 85% of the time, when you um, get a positive result, you don't have the disease, right? So imagine, this patient comes in, they're really worried they have some disease, they take this drug test, look at the results, oh, it's positive. What should they think? Should they think they definitely have the disease? No! <laughs> There's an 85% chance that they don't have the disease, that it's just a false positive. And so there is a reason to think that this drug isn't that great. Um, they have pretty poor positive predictive value. This is pretty low, right? Um, and you know, just to put it into sort of regular terms that a patient can understand, this means that even if you have a positive test, you don't know whether you have the disease. There's an 85% chance that you don't. Right? So that's not a great test, right? So maybe that's why this drug isn't that great.